Match believes that adults date better. Because when you date as an adult, you get to be a little irresponsible with really responsible people. Rip the clothes off someone who actually knows how to put them away. Fall stupidly in love with someone who's actually really smart. Forget being hot. Get them to ugly laugh. Ready to crush on someone who makes you feel whole? If you know who you are and what you want in a relationship, Match is the place for you. Adults Wanted. Download the Match app today. Moments. Welcome back to the Meatball Pod. Welcome back, Meatballs. So today is an exciting day. An exciting show for you guys today because we have our first meatball guest. We're so excited to announce that Sammy Sweetheart will be coming onto the podcast today. And we'll be asking her questions and just kind of be like girl talk. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Drink some wine. Yeah, we have our messy mama Rosé, my rowdy Rosé. Cheers. We're in solo cups today. Yeah, we are. Classy. (laughs) So we got Sam on the show today, and then we definitely want to talk about that episode on the season of Jersey Shore. I'm sure you guys saw it. Of the alien oh, prank. Oh my goodness, the alien prank. The I can't. The meatballs were not happy. <laughs> First of all, I just want to explain also when we get really into it. Oh, we're going to get into it. I was the way I was. And me also. <laughs> I feel like me and Dina were the most dramatic. So dramatic. But there was a reason why. Yeah. And we thought it was real. Everyone else knew, like, oh, this is a prank. But we also were like, we'll get into it. We'll yeah. get into it. Yeah, we'll get we'll into talk it. Because we have a lot to say. So we got Sam on the show today. I also want to talk about dreams because I feel like dreams are crazy, especially when I you're hate a bad mama. dreams. So when you have bad dreams about the kids, Ugh. it's just like always, you know, you're always worried about your baby. So when you're sleeping, 24/7. you have all these crazy nightmares that you think might happen. You want to be prepared. So I want to talk about my dream that I had. I'm sure you had a couple Ugh. scary dreams about the I kids. I hate dreams. I hate bad dreams. Yep. And then I have a story about my daughter, Giovanna. That I would love to indulge. And I actually saved it for this podcast. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to hear. Because it's not great. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm surprised. Sissy. I'm surprised TMZ didn't get a hold of it. Let's Shut just say that. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't so, wait to hear it. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the show. So we have a question from Carrie. She says, Dina, how did the Jersey Turnpike originate? And she wants us to also know it was her prime college days when that came out. And she wants to see it on Jersey Shore Family Vacation. I feel (laughs) like you've done it on vacation. I have to Chris. Yeah. So so the Jersey Turnpike. You can do it to me. It's fine. And girls. So the Jersey Turnpike came about, like, I just really loved to shake my coolie because I had a big one. And oh, I Dina knew. has a great ass. I've I don't know if you guys known know. I have a coolie. When Dina walks, it jiggles, and it's so nice. Like I always watch. I w- always watch her walk away. So I think I actually originated the twerk. The twerk. Yeah, hundred percent. The twerk didn't come out until after Jersey no, Shore. No, you made up the twerk. And I you literally put my hands on the floor and I shake my coolie because I knew I had it, yeah. and I would call it the Jersey Turnpike because it was like I'm on my mm-hmm. way to Jersey, bitch. You <laughs> should be in history books for the twerk. So. It really just originated because I just really love to dance and I would go crazy and like to shake my coolie. Coolie is what I call my butt because I'm Italian. And I was like, you know what? I'm calling it the Jersey Turnpike because we're in Jersey and you need to get, you need to take the Jersey Turnpike to the Jersey Shore. So I only, Jersey Turnpike, Chris and my girls, like Nicole, Jenny, Sam. Angelina. Well, yeah, because you're married. Yeah, so I would <laughs> never Jersey Turnpike anybody A else. Guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do Jersey Turnpike in Jersey Shore. Why? You know what is it? It's Jersey, 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 Jersey. Mm-hmm. There's too That's many it, yeah. Jerseys happening in that yeah, sense. Yeah, it's, it's not the messy mama Rowdy Rose. So I Jersey Turnpike on Jersey Shore family vacation, but. Mm-hmm. Clearly to my husband and to my girls because I don't want to be disrespectful to, you know, my man. Okay, so this is from Allison. She said, hi, Meatballs. I'm getting married in two weeks. Do you guys have any advice? And what's your thoughts on drinking on your wedding day? I absolutely love you guys. Okay, my wedding day, 
<sighs> my wedding day. I loved my wedding day. Uh, so I had a Gatsby theme, and I wanted it to be so dramatic. Everyone had to dress up Gatsby. Oh, it was so dramatic, but um, I loved it. Yeah. You know me. I have to go all out, especially for my wedding. So my favorite colors are black and gold. So I had black and gold everywhere. I love Gatsby. Gianni loved the idea. Um, so I went all out. So when it comes to drinking on your wedding day, I definitely had mimosas in the morning, but I knew to control myself because I did not want to black out my wedding. Oh, my no, God. Yeah. So definitely did I not agree. want to. So I was drinking mimosas, you know, um, getting my makeup done, all of that. But you have a mimosa, then you have a glass of water. You have a mimosa, have a glass of water, but don't go crazy while yeah, you're you, getting ready. You want to remember the actual yeah. The day, yeah. <laughs> so make sure, like, you know. Saying like, I do, you want to remember it. Yeah, so make sure, you know, you're having your drinks and, like, enjoying yourself with your girls. Um, but the one thing that I did, which was, like, my favorite moment ever, before my dad walked me down the aisle, um, before we got out of our car, it was, like, a Gatsby car. Me and my dad had a shot together. Oh, and he nice. was like, I'm so proud of you. This is going to be beautiful. So I had a shot with my dad right before I walked down the aisle. And I wasn't even like tipsy or anything because I did have a couple of mimosas getting ready. But that shot like solidified my nerves. Yeah. I was just like, oh, because I was so nervous. Everyone was going to look at me. Mind you, it was on a TV show. And no, did I record it? Was it on TV? I don't know. Maybe I think it was on Snook Wow. Snooky and Jay Wow. I don't think it was on Jersey Shore. No, yeah, it was on Snooki and Wow. So I did it for that, but I said, you're a fly on the wall, just, like, watch my wedding, whatever. So I took a shot before I walked down the aisle, and it was perfect. Everything was perfect. And then when I got to the reception, I knew not to go crazy until after I cut the cake. Cut the cake and then was ready to go. Yeah. I feel like I did the same. I didn't really drink before the, um, what is it, the nuptials. Oh, this is where, uh, to Dana and Chris, yes. this is where Dana and Chris was born. Because me me and Joey were just dying at your aunt. Yeah, because her, her aunt accent. did it, yeah. She was like, to Dana and Chris. And yeah, she that's has a very how, strong accent. That's how that was born. And I remember your wedding. Everyone got on a bus to get to yeah, the... Yeah, we did uh, a school bus. Everyone got on the bus to get to the winery, and me and Jenny were chugging wine. Oh, everybody was It was wasted. amazing. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. But I actually didn't really drink until after... Oh, yeah, like, no. we said I do and everything, and then, because you know me, I get nervous. Like, if yeah. I'm, like, going to be too, dr like, I just wanted to remember everything. Yeah. So I waited, and then I knew because, like, I was walking down with with my my cousin, mm -hmm. not my dad. So, like, I didn't want to be drunk and, mm -hmm. like, hysterical. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted no, to yeah, be yeah. good. Mm -hmm. So I didn't drink until after, and then I... You know, once the reception started, that's when I was like, okay, give me some wines, baby. Yeah. Had a great, that was a great time. Yeah, so I would say enjoy yourself. Know your limit, though. And mm -hmm. if you are going to drink mimosas in the morning, make sure you chase it with some water. And you're going to be good. Yeah. I'm not saying don't drink on your wedding, but know your limits until Remember. you can, you know, dance it out. that's coming from the meatball. Yeah, and that's coming from the meatballs. Yeah. Like, we're being responsible. But you don't want to fuck up your wedding with, like, drinking too hard yeah. before everything um, even starts. But I'm also saying do not not do it. Just, like, have a couple Chris of mimosas. Chris drank a lot on our wedding. He wound up throwing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the guys don't give a shit. They're just, like, the the guys always say, yeah, oh, it, it's, it's the girl's day, whatever. But I'm like, no, it's both your days. So just enjoy yourself, girl. Yeah. All right, so it's back to school season, and for us mamas, it's crazy. We have to get the kids ready for school, make sure they're ready, you know, with the notebooks, the pencils, make sure they got new clothes, book bags, and everything. And also, you want to make sure that your kitchen is stocked. So by week three, you realize you need your bacon, you need your egg, your cheese, iced coffee to get us through as mamas. So that's when DoorDash can save you your morning, get you everything you need, especially for groceries and everything. I mean, being a mama and back to school, like not even just being a mama, but in general, the fall time and getting back to the routine is crazy. I mean, I love DoorDash. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think I use DoorDash every morning for my coffee. <laughs> and with CJ going to school, like, I feel like there's just so much, you know, time. And, like, I don't have time to go get coffee. So I will order the coffee from DoorDash. Get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with DashPass. Just $4.99 a month for students. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members-only offers nationwide. DashPass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. 
Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less so you can satisfy those spur of the moment cravings or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. Dash Pass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving you grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited $0 delivery fees. For a limited time, you'll get 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for a Dash Pass student plan and enter code MEATBALL. That's 50% off up to $10 on your next order of $15 or more when you sign up for Dash Pass student plan when you enter the code MEATBALL. Don't forget, that's code MEATBALL for 50% off when you sign up Sign up for the Dash Pass student plan. Subject to change, terms apply. So it's time. Let's call Samantha. We are calling Sammy Sweetheart for our first meatball interview. Woohoo! Hello. Hi, Sam. Samantha. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Meatball Pod. Woo, I'm officially on the meatball pod. You are our first guest. Do you feel honored? I feel so honored. I'm so excited. Well, we're excited to have you. So we have like, we. I feel like we have some fun stuff to talk about. We definitely want to talk about the alien prank. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because you were freaking out with us. Yeah, thank <laughs> God it wasn't just me and Nicole. I love how she called her mom. Wait, my favorite, <laughs> I think of the whole episode, you're like, I don't want to die with aliens, mom. <laughs> <laughs> You had me dying. Like, freaking out. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you want to talk about it now, but I was really scared. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll get into it. But if I feel like I remember Sam, like when she got anxiety or she freaked out, she would, yeah. she would check her pulse Hold her, her neck. neck. You were holding your neck the entire time. <laughs> I was holding my neck and I had my ear. I was like, why am I closing my ears? Like, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that was, was like, trying to like keep you safe. No, I think she was trying like, to I like not hear the meatballs <laughs> probably no, we're being I loud no, yeah no i was actually like if you guys are out i'm coming with you yeah we I'm were kidding. i was watching you like what is your next move because i want to do it i can't <laughs> i don't I even think we that. know it yeah but yeah. thanks for coming on the show sam so thanks everyone everyone is so excited that you're back so we want to talk about what you've been doing i feel like you've how long have has she been off the show so I feel like oh, it's been like 13 years, right? 13 yeah, years? It's been like 11. That's a teenager. Oh, 11. 11, because we yeah. ended in 2016. Right. Yeah, it's and been then a long When time. did we come back? We're all bad at math over here. Did we come back 2013? <laughs> no. We ended 2016 and right. we no. came back. Yeah. No. What? Yeah. No, we no, ended 2013? We ended like 2012. No, we ended 2013. Because it was right uh, after, um, it was right no, before ended, Sandy. 2012. Was it 2012? No, it was 2012. Because I was oh pregnant God, with Lorenzo, right. and that's when he was born. I am terrible. And then we came back 2017. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you guys have been doing this for a while. Ugh. Yeah. I need a therapist. I need more than a therapist. <laughs> I need Jesus. <laughs> so during that time that we were... Um, you know, filming, and you didn't come back till now. Can you just uh, let our meatballs know, like, what you've been doing, what you've been up to before you came back? Sure. I've kind of just been living a normal life. Like, I like normal life. So Same. Mm-hmm. After the show, I just really just went to, like, doing everything that every normal person does. Like, just working and then hanging with family and friends and just, like, playing soccer. Like, I didn't even... I literally just worked on my store, Sweetheart Coast, and I just lived normally. Like, I didn't think, I didn't live any different than I did before the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So could you, like, go out, or were you still getting bothered everywhere you went? Um, I still was getting bothered, but it, like, kind of, it was kind of cool because I kind of appreciated it more. Like, I guess not being on it. Yeah, like, people still noticed you. Yeah, like, when you're, we were so young when we did it, I feel like it was, like, a whirlwind. And it was like, well, when I left the show, I kind of was like, oh, I, like, missed it. And it it felt nice when people would recognize me. I'd be like, oh, my God, thank you. Like, it was kind of, like, more of appreciation for people remembering who I was, I guess. 
No, yeah, I totally get that. Because I feel like even when we, like, got off of the show, because it was 2013, it was still, we had a couple years between Mm -hmm. coming back. And I remember I went to went to work at that Greenleaf place. I tried to be as normal as possible, and I got a job. And oh, I, yeah. I Dean, <laughs> yeah, Diener got a job. Yeah. And I then remember that. You loved it, though. I did love it. Yeah. And then I had to leave. I actually left Greenleaf to come back here. Yeah. So I was I worked at Greenleaf for a while. Mm-hmm. I was like, I remember you did. Dave. Yeah, I was a receptionist. That. Like I left yeah. Jersey Shore, and I be- probably yeah. a lot of people don't even know that I mm-hmm. left Jersey Shore, and I became a receptionist at a dog hotel, and I loved it. Yeah. I was like <laughs> slobbered in kisses all day, and yeah, Aww. people would come in and like know who I was, but they were like, like cool. Yeah, I'm a receptionist. Did you get um did you get a job besides Sweetheart Coast or did you just main focus with Sweetheart Coast? So I have my online boutique that's like ten years old. So I was I just would go to Ocean City, I have a house there with family, and then one day like I saw an open store. So I was like, Oh, what if I just brought that's where Sweetheart Coast came about? But I've had Sweetheart Coast for three years now, so it was kinda of like a lot and then they came Nicole, you know how much work it is to like get a boutique together like it's a lot so full-time job yeah time, sure like, yeah mm-hmm. like doing that and then um doing my online business really that's awesome yeah. and then but i feel like i'm not like i would have went and got a job like as a receptionist somewhere like i thought about it yeah <laughs> so, i know it, it's it's it took me a minute to like be like am i gonna go get a job and then i was like mm. i'm like the, i'm a capricorn so like if i'm not doing something like oh, same. I feel like yeah. what am I? No, I'm no, I'm a sag. So I feel like uh, if I'm sitting at home and not doing anything, like I need to have a schedule. Yeah, because same. then I feel like I don't have. I just feel like I don't have a life. Like I, I'm not like doing anything. Yeah, like I, I want like I was. Like, I want to feel accomplished. Yeah, I felt like I was like pitiful, just sitting at home. Like yeah, I had money from Jersey Shore still, of course, because I saved. Yeah, but you want to have like but a routine. I was like I feel like I I don't have like. The same money coming in. I feel mm-hmm. like I need to be doing something every day. I need yeah. a routine because I'm Capricorn and like that's like one of my like I'm OCD also. Mm-hmm. So I just needed to get a job. Yeah, Dana's like, on meds. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Prozac people. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are the exact same as you, D. Yeah. Including myself. I feel like I feel like anxiety. Like with you know, I feel like my anxiety has gotten worse. Like it's just it is what it is. You know. I feel like it gets older with age. Yeah. And I feel like I've never had anxiety, but then I I feel weird sometimes. And I feel like stress and it's I feel anxiety. like anxiety. And I feel like I just like want to crawl on a ball and I'm like, why do I feel like this? That's anxiety. I, 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 I feel, feel like, like, like I'm right starting now. to get it and I'm not okay. Like no, Sam I feel like it's getting worse. Like than should me. I be I'm medicated bad also? Bad I'm <laughs> like, getting it bad now. I'm not even kidding. Like it's so bad. I feel like you're right. It gets worse with age. I don't know. Like, Sam, I have a question. So, like, when you saw, because I remember me and you having a conversation beforehand, and you were like, Dee, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it. Because it was like, it came kind of out of nowhere after my wedding, like, coming back on the show. And me and you. Yeah, I think that's why they wanted it, because they saw us all together. Yeah, I was on my honeymoon when the show got picked up again. And I remember me and you texting each other, you're like, Dee, I don't think I'm going to do it. And I was like, try, I was like, Sam, you have to do it. But then I totally understood where you were coming from because it was like toxic for you and like I look back on old episodes Sam and I'm like how did we even allow all of this shit to happen oh my god crazy I know. because it was, it was just like, I, I, so I bad and of course there was like great times for me but there was also a lot of like not so great times so I think I just wasn't like ready to put myself in the mix then when you all went back, I was like, I can't do this. Like, I don't know if I can handle this all again. Yeah. Like, the stress, the anxiety, like, being in ho- in a house with an ex. Like, it just was, like, something I didn't want to do then. You know what I mean? No, and well, I get not that. Not for nothing. I was just going to say, I think we were, like, reading each other's do, minds. Not for nothing, but the job alone, well, I'm not going to call it a job. Filming alone is so stressful and anxiety yeah. and Knowing that you know you're older and you're gonna go into a house and there's pelcos everywhere, knowing you're gonna film 24 seven for like another month, you haven't done it in years, yeah. but you know the anxiety that it gave you back then. I wasn't ready for that, but I was like, you know what? Let's just try it out, see how it goes. So I can't imagine that on top of the awful shit that you went through yeah. with like an yeah, ex and sure. everything. Like that's like that's like triple. And like I, it was like not the best time for me, you know. Like it was not like the right moment. I feel like, I mean, 
be honest, like I think you might have did the right thing because some people were not over you. That's oh that yeah, first no. season, Sam. They oh, were yeah, not. Thank God you didn't come. Yeah, honestly. I feel like it would have been bad because there was oh, so yeah. many times like I was like trying to fight for Sam because like he just some people. <laughs> oh yeah, it was because really weird. Three, you know, but you know, so me and Sam actually. So as some people don't know, we would sneak phones into the house. Because yeah. we weren't allowed to have phones. So oh, yeah, we snuck it the, in every season. Yeah, so the first season of the Jersey Shore Family Vacation, it was a lot It was a lot like OG. We didn't have our phones, so we snuck in Which phones. Which is crazy, because I had two kids. I had two babies at the time. Yeah. And I agreed to that. After that, I was like, fuck you, I'm bringing my phone. I had, yeah. ch- I had little toddlers. That was, I don't know how you did it, or I, how we, any I of wasn't us okay. allowed no phones for Jersey Shore fan no, yeah. vacation season we one. We killed that real quick. But I was actually texting Sam while we were in the house. On your burner phone? Yeah, on my were. burner phone. Yeah. I'm like, so this just happened. No, it was <laughs> like we were in the witness protection. You were. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm like, I just fought with this person, and this yeah. is what just happened, and don't worry. I told her about the sex doll. <laughs> No, yeah, I was, was like, and you had even you had Mallory even text me. I think. Yeah, like, I was like, night. I was like, she needs to know what's going on in oh, this Oh yeah, what's gonna show on TV? Yeah. For over ten years, Grammarly has been powered by AI technology that you trust and rely on by helping you across all the places where you write the most. With one click, you can easily brainstorm, rewrite, and reply quickly with suggestions based on your context and goals. Accelerate productivity for you and your teams. More than 30 million people rely on Grammarly to help them with their writing today. Applying to new jobs? With Grammarly by your side, you can apply to your dream job with confidence by tailoring your cover letter and revising your resume in seconds. A big presentation coming up? Let Grammarly create a personalized outline to get you organized, so you can transform your ideas into a compelling presentation. For your next vacation, it can help you create a whole itinerary. Grammarly is here to assist you at every step of your writing, so you can show up with confidence. You'll be amazed at what you can do. Go to Grammarly.com slash go to download for free. That's grammarl dot com slash go. Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Catherine. We're part of the Blendjet team. And husband and wife. If you're one of the 5 million people who use a Blendjet portable blender, thank you. A few years ago, I had a freak accident and almost died. Daily smoothies have helped me recover. We created Blendjet to help people live healthier lives by making it easy to enjoy perfectly blended smoothies and protein shakes anytime, anywhere. The Blendjet 2 portable blender is powerful, USB rechargeable, cleans itself, and comes in over 30 colors. Get yours now on Blendjet.com. But um, but in a way, it was kind of like you did the right thing. And I feel like life happens in such a weird way and things happen when they're supposed to happen because I think – I don't think it would have been healthy for you that first season. Hell no. Hell yeah. no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I still, I still walk on eggshells now. Like I still am like, okay, am I doing the right thing? But I figure if I, it never feels right, then I'll just leave again. Like it, that's where I'm at. Like yeah, oh, yeah. What I'm trying, if it doesn't feel right, I don't need to stay in an environment like that. Like I'm good to leave. And same with you guys. Like you would always leave if you ever felt mm-hmm. like, you know, weird at filming. Like I feel like we're old enough to, like we're all yeah. like, okay. And it's literally our, our call. And I feel like they were like that when I came back because I left because – it was just so mentally draining. Yeah. Like it was just ruining who I was as a person. Like I was depressed. So I, I took the year off. And then when I came back, they were just like, listen, we're going to tell you what we're doing. If you want to come, come. If not, it's okay. Whatever episode you want to be in, fine. So the fact that the producers are just so yeah. nice about it, and I'm yeah, sure times I know they are that with you now. You know, like if you're yeah. not comfortable doing something, they're not going to push you to do it. They're like, okay, then don't don't come. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, I have to better actually say, like, out. they've been really, like, nice with that lately, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, like... No, they definitely you know. improved with that. Yeah, because back in the day, reality, back in the OG times... Oh, they'd be like, F you. <laughs> you guys had no idea how crazy it was. Oh, my God. Like, they would be like... Uh, I swear, that's why I was so nervous when I first met Chris. Because I really... They wanted me single. 
I felt, and I was so scared that they were going to try some way to break me and Chris up because that's how cutthroat they were back then. Yeah, it was cutthroat. But I feel like now, like, they understand that we're older and, like, we have families and they're trying to really, they are trying to, like, make us comfortable especially like bringing our families on vacation mm-hmm. and stuff like bringing like I loved meeting Justin I can't wait for you oh, guys I can't to, wait see for that everyone episode. to see that episode I am obs- I'm, I I'm obsessed with I him. love him It was um, nice even to see like meet all your families like it was just really nice I think being a part of it again and seeing the different dynamic now than what it was back then like with all you guys too like you guys have been doing this for a long time and people don't realize they feel like like it like, it's fun, but it also is a lot of work. And I feel like people should give you guys a little more credit. You know what I mean? For all that you guys have done through the years. I don't know. Oh, thank you. I feel like people don't understand what goes into making a TV show. And you guys are hardworking people. Thank you, Mama. And, like, now that I come back, I'm like, holy shit. Oh, can I curse on here? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, do you know who we are? Like, you guys, like, you work so hard, you know? Well, buckle up, baby, because you're oh, about to be sense. working hard, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so when you walked, so your first episode was coming to Pennsylvania. What a way, too, with the aliens. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. That was, like, the Sam's second day, poor thing. Know, poor it's like, day. oh, welcome oh, back. Um, Literally buckle up. But tell us, like, how nervous you were, like, what was going through your mind, the car ride there, like... Were you, were you like, shaking walking in? Because I feel like when I came back and it was, like, I only took off a year. And then I came back. And we all spoke to you. I, like, yeah, I literally had times. adrenaline walking in. And, like, I've been talking to everyone since, you know. I, I was talking to everyone that day. They just didn't know I was showing up. So how was your adrenaline, uh, like, your emotions? I know. You had to be so yeah, nervous. I would have freaked really, out. I'm surprised you didn't drink. Um, <laughs> I was really freaking out. I was like, am I really doing this? Because it's been a long time without talking to any of you guys. Like, I've just literally haven't talked to anybody so I'm like I don't know if I'm doing the right thing I don't know if they're gonna not like me like I don't know like you know because I I didn't really have like I know like we went through the whole blocking thing whatever but I didn't really have like any like ill will towards any of you you know what I, like there was never like I was never like I dislike this part like I actually like love you guys so I was kind of like I don't know how this is going to be. Will they still like me? Are we going to be friends? Is this just a random thing? I don't even know. I didn't even know I was going to really stay. Like, I remember, wa- like, walking in there and being like, okay, like, am I going home now? Like, did I just show up to, like, go home? I didn't even know what I was doing. I was shitting myself, oh. honestly. I, I can't imagine. Shitting. Do you remember? That reminds me of the first season. Remember the first season we filmed? And we thought we were going to be there from, like, Monday to Friday. And then yeah. we go home on the weekends. Like, we, we didn't oh, know yeah, it was, like, a 24-7, that? like, filming. By the way, so Dina wait, was supposed to, like, to be there. Yeah. You, I, I remember I, had a, I was playing soccer, and I had to call my college and say I wasn't coming to preseason. Yeah. Like, you, you were in school. I was in school, like, so, like, I had yeah. to, like, borrow someone's laptop to do, like, my work. So I was in school to be a vet tech. We thought it was just going to be a couple of days, then we go home, then we come back. Because when you think about, like, the shore, the actual sh- Jersey Shore life, you go there for the, you know, a couple of days, and then you go back to your life, and then you just come back on the weekends. So it's not like yeah. you're there the full month of summer. So that's what we thought we were doing, and... um yeah, no. Nope. Look at us now. Look at us yeah. now. Friggin' 25 years later. Yeah, but then, so then I meet you guys, and it's like in the whirlwind of the men. I never left you guys. Honestly, it felt, I felt very comfortable. You all made me feel very comfortable. And, like, I was just like, okay, like, I feel so much better that I got it over with. Yeah. And then the two was the freaking alien thing. And <laughs> back then, I'm like, producers never got involved. So when there's... A crazy emergency on tv and then producers are screaming at us like stay inside don't go out there that's, that's what, what got me in my stomach. well let's just talk and about like, that now happening? i think we could talk about that now the oh alien prank because everyone's talking about it i just I literally just went on gma because all they wanted to talk about was our alien prank did they like really? it did they, no, they were like were that, dramatic they were like that was insane and they were like why were you so crazy and i was like i wasn't with my kids so speaking of breaking the fourth wall Sam means, yeah. like, when we're on a reality show, you never see us talking to producers. You don't see us looking at the camera hardly. It's like, you know. We do it more now than we well, yeah, used it's, to. It's more so Sam wasn't now. used to that. that now. We were, like, you know, yeah. more. 
now, talking now to producers. Now I feel like we're allowed to talk to producers. Like, they like to break the fourth wall a little bit, which I think is amazing. I love it. Because yeah. it just shows, like, the real reality of our show. Yeah. Like, it's not it's not like we're not talking to them. We can look at the camera now, and they'll keep it in the episode. It's like, like the office. Actual, yes, there's yeah. actual it's relationship fun. there because we've been together for now, like, 13 years. Oh, yeah. So our crew is basically like our family. Like, we've been with them since 2009. I'm annoyed with myself because but. so I I did a murder mystery prank and I oh, got Oh Sam, the, you would have died with this I, one. I did got, you see that one? Oh no. So I, I did I deserve this. And Paulie always said and Vinny, the only way to get Dina is something with her kids or something, you know, that because if I'm not with my kids in like a ser- serious situation, that's like, my biggest fear. That is my biggest fear. I would be buzzing. That's so my biggest fucking fear. The fa- they were lucky that I was on ten, gl- like ten. Yeah, bottles they were lucky of wine we were wasted. <laughs> because I should have freaking known. Like, come on! Like, they definitely had to get me back for that murder mystery prank. And yeah, I, they were I, getting you back, and I was in the crossfire. I know. Me and, and Sam. <laughs> so I'm annoyed with myself that I, I was like, I at first was like, is this it? Is this my prank? But then when the thing went on the TV, and it was like, because they didn't show that in the episode, that they all of a sudden, it. it was like, burm, burm, and the TV that goes on. That is my biggest fear, hearing that noise. And they're like, put on the TV. Yes. And like, then, no one knows that. That's so my like, biggest fear. That was one yeah. thing I wish they showed. So we like to talk about some behind-the-scenes stuff on this podcast. So yeah, you could spill the tea. one thing that I was, like, super annoyed with with the episode was they didn't show. Because I didn't start freaking out until the TV went on. And it was, like, yeah. the emergency broadcast on the TV. Because then I was, like, for where we were. And I was, like, how the frig yeah. would they do that? So that's when I started spiraling. It wasn't when mm. I first saw the lights. Because when I first saw the lights, I was like, okay, is this my prank? Is yeah. this my prank? And then all of a sudden, the TV went on. And I was like, mm. oh, no. Yeah, so the TV went on. And that's, I, I felt the same. I was like, oh, shit, is this real? And what really fucking got me was our main producer, Shogun. We're all outside, yeah. like, looking. And he goes, everyone, get inside right now. So I'm like, holy fuck, is this real? So I see... He has, like, panic on his face. He should get an Oscar for this freaking award. Chelsea, too. All the producers called, like, their loved ones. Shogun was like, hey, do you see the news? And, like, Chelsea, all the producers on the floor were calling their loved ones. Some of the cameras shouldered down, like, what is happening? And then they're still recording us. And I'm like, why are you recording us? We're all fucking dying. Like, this is real. And then I started freaking. That's that's when I was like, nope. I ran upstairs. I go, Dina, we're leaving. We're out. And I was like, yeah, I'm going. I'm going going home to our kids. kids. And I just want everybody. You guys are out. I'm coming with you. I swear I'm out of here. I'm not staying on this mountain dying. You made me laugh. Out. Because you were like, Mom. yeah, we're good until it just zaps our ha- zaps the house. <laughs> <laughs> like well, she, you were calmly yeah, having a Yeah, she wasn't meltdown. freaking out like us, but she was freaking out. Make your birthdays fun forgettable with Pillsbury's Funfetti Cake Mix and Frosting. The secret ingredient for a smile and views party. Whether celebrating you or someone you love, Funfetti makes it easy to add a sprinkle of imagination and a dash of delicious to create colorful, tasty cakes, cupcakes, and more. Don't settle for an ordinary birthday when you can make it extraordinary with Funfetti. Visit PillsburyBaking.com to learn more and let the birthday magic funfold. You are having a really good day. Until you broke down on the road. We know how you feel. That's why no matter what mishaps you encounter, AAA will be there 24-7. And we'll get you back on the road and back to having a really good day. Join AAA and drive worry-free. Visit AAA.com slash join. literally having a full-blown panic attack and I was like oh my god what do I do like what do I do and I kept I kept saying I kept saying I don't want to die with you fucks like I don't want to be here (laughs) I was ready to freaking hitchhike I don't want to die with you guys this was the how it went it went Dina the worst Nicole 
Sam, and then everybody else just didn't give a shit. <laughs> well, Vinny was in on it. Paulie really tried to sell it. Yeah. I think Jenny knew it was fake. She wasn't like that drunk. She said after the murder mystery, she'll never think anything. Oh yeah, like, so she just like real. got her wine and she was drinking. I actually got pissed off at her because I'm like, you have children. Why the fuck are you not freaking out? And then she yelled at us. She goes, "You're not driving." I know. <laughs> she, no, she said after a while, then she's like, "I saw Vinny's face," and I was like, "Oh, oh yeah." She could read the room, like, oh, and also she God. wasn't like, as God. drunk as me and Tina. No, we were we were drinking yeah. since, and that was another thing. They didn't show. We, me and Nicole, were drinking since 10 a.m. Okay, yeah, that, we had, the, we had, we had at, yes, we right. had mimosas at, at lunch. We and were like, let's we had, make a day of this. And then we had Fireball at the one play at the... Oh, you had more than one shot of Fireball. Yeah. Then we had mm-hmm. Fireball. You guys were drinking a lot. I'll give it to you. Then we had, we had a meatball wine. day. So, like, we were having a legit meatball day that entire yeah, day. I had martinis at uh, lunch yeah. or at I mean, dinner. When we were home, you guys were like, like, it was fun. Wasted. Oh, I was bombed. So, like, they didn't <laughs> yeah. even show... I called Jenny a penis. They didn't even show how much we really, like, were drinking. So, like, we were not... We, we were, were not, not sober. There. Yeah. Like, yeah, but guys, I was kind of sober and I still was freaking out. <laughs> like, it was scary. Well, like, I think I would like, also. But then the next day, I told production because they were like, Are you okay? I was like, First of all, I'm suing you for emotional damage. Like, that was not okay. I called my mom. I called Gianni. I called Gianni, like, Put on the news, grab the kids, go to my mom's upstate. Like, I was freaking out. And then I got home and Lorenzo was like, Mom, why'd you think there were aliens there? I'm like, Honey. I was like, mommy, mommy was acting again. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but um, I told the producers, I was like, let me see what that emergency thing looked like. And I watched it, and it looked so freaking fake. Did it? I thought it looked so fake. If I was when sober. you were sober. Yes. That's I was I'm like, saying. this looks so fake. If the meatballs were sober, there wouldn't Guys, have been. It looked real to me. It, I, I like, feel like. If, if to me, it looked fake I, when I watched it. I probably would have been like, okay. Like, because I've been waiting for something to happen. Mm. Because I definitely get, I definitely deserved a prank yeah. because that murder mystery was so good. But I wasn't, I wasn't coherent mm. enough to realize what the frick was happening around me. I was like just zoned out. And then also, <laughs> you see in the episode, I'm like, I can't call Chris, he's sleeping. What people don't understand is me and Chris had a big fight the night before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I called him while he was sleeping, and I woke him up, and the kid's up, and he was like, you can't call me in the middle oh, of the night. Oh, if you did again and said, oh Chris, there's God. aliens, oh my God. he would have been like, imagine? Dina. I, I, I he, love he, my husband, so I was like, yeah. he's going to think, like, I'm fucking Wait, wild. Wait, did you call him? I wound up texting him, and I was like, you know what? At least a text won't wake up the kids. Yeah. But, like. What'd you say in the text? I said, please put on the news. There's aliens. <laughs> So people my were like, mom, why I isn't Dina, my mom. Why my isn't Dina like, want to call? There's no aliens. Calm down. I'm like, no, I feel like it's <laughs> real. <laughs> you were so funny. You were like, I want to die with aliens. Mom. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm like, mom, no, like, save me. I got to get the fr-. I was like thinking, like, come pick me up. Get me out of here. Like, I don't want to be here. It's my second day. Yeah. I second day. Imagine. Then. And of course, they do it when we're in PA, in the woods, in the middle of freaking nowhere. Crazy. And we were so talking creepy. about aliens the entire way there. The entire way yeah, there because, we were talking yeah, about aliens. We were they talking didn't about even aliens. Show that. And then Paulie, Paulie knew about it right away. So then he started like talking about the mothership and everything. Because there was things on TikTok about aliens. And this was before they did yeah. um, the congressional hearing. Yeah. Which is actually like true. There are aliens. So that's why I freaked out also because I do believe in aliens. And Same. I really think this would happen Wait. one day. Like I'm, I've seen a UFO before. I have a whole... A whole bunker in my basement. Oh, same. Like, ready to go. Same. So that's why also I'm, I'm like... I'm coming to your guys' house. Oh, yeah. me and Dina you are to paranoid fucks. I have, fucks. like, ready I have to bins go. bins and bins of Not stuff. Not only in case of <laughs> aliens, but, like... No, just a disaster. A disaster. Mm-hmm. Like, I have canned foods. I have um, iodine pills. God forbid yeah. there's a nuclear a nuclear um I just weapon. bought masks. Oh, God. Yeah, get iodine pills. Prepare. Maybe I should prepare. So... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. People are like, oh, my God, you don't want to be with Dean if there's a disaster. L- listen to me. You like, do no. want to be with me if I'm with my kids. As long as I'm with my kids, mm-hmm. we are prepared I meatballs. am ready to go, and I go into full mama bear. Mama bear. Oh, mama she's bear. drinking. <laughs> mama bear protection mode. So, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. I looked like a mess there because I wasn't with my kids. If I was with my yeah, kids, exactly. I'm a freaking crazy person. Yeah. So I feel like they didn't show, like, all of it. Yeah. I We just looked nuts. Well, after, I, I don't know. 
I don't know if they're going to show this um, on the next episode, but I was so mad at Paulie. You were. And I never get mad at Paulie because I think, you know, he's just innocent and, like, being fun or whatever. But I was just, like, I literally said, fuck you, Paulie. And, and then, like, I went to the bathroom. I was calling my mom crying. I was like, well, how do you do this to a mother? Like, I was, like, I know, out of sorts. I was so fucking pissed off. I just needed a minute to, like, get my shit out, and then I was fine. But... I don't think I've ever been mad at Polly like that before. Yeah, I was just like, thank God. No, like, whoever, nobody's ever mad at Polly, I feel. No. And then he was like, oh, shit, maybe I took it too far. Because <laughs> he knew the prank the whole time, and, like, we're all scrambling. He's crying, screaming, calling our parents, yeah. our husbands, trying to leave. And he's just like, when do I say it's a prank? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was so like, chaotic. Like, not for nothing, I feel like what everybody saw, like, it was on TV fine, but it was actually scarier in real life. It was. Oh, yeah, they didn't even see half of it. Because I feel like yeah, they cut yeah. out the, t- like, the TV. Yeah, it was scarier. The TV is what set it apart. That scary TV noise. Can you play it on your phone? The scary emergency noise. Uh, yes. It goes, bah, bah. And, and it was and like, stay in your homes. It was like, this is a national emergency. And I'm stay sure in your it homes. Say, said like Pennsylvania. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. In the woods. <laughs> and then they're like, then they're on Twitter and they're showing me tweets. I'm like, what? I am. What they the made up tweets? Happening? Yeah. You don't remember that? They made up tweets on Twitter. Somebody, like, they had a production or somebody like making up random names and tweeting like all these things so they probably showed me it and i was like this is so elaborate and fucked up all right i was like what is happening all right this is the noise that we heard on the tv no uh, yes yes that's the noise we heard tell you that is like my biggest fear not being with my family and that's my number one fear yeah i'm not scared of anything Except like spiders, okay. but that okay. is like my terrified thing. Like, like my family's my shit's everything. going down, and say I'm traveling for work or something, and that goes off, and I'm not home with my kids. Yeah. Like I will, I will walk home. See? I'll do what oh, I'll, I mean, I'll kill somebody to I, get home. I was about to hitchhike. Damn. I literally I was ready to hitchhike. I can't. Like if it's going down and we're dying. Guys, I'll do the exact same way. Sam was like. I'm ready to just hop on whatever the meatballs train yeah. is going. <laughs> I, I was ready to like kidnap a bear. I'm I was out. I'm out with. But at I was least you for like your next move. I'm like, if you guys leave, I'm coming. Literally, you like calmly had a panic attack, and we had. I had a meltdown. I had a complete meltdown. You did, but so did I. But I was also like I don't ten you. bottles you know deep. What? Yeah. I stayed true to how he acted. Like we were scared. It was a scary thing. Like it is yeah. what it is. Now mm-hmm. it's funny to laugh at now, but it was scary. Yeah, and like online, some people are giving like a shit. Like not you, more like the meatballs because they're like, oh, so dramatic. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, we were very drunk, and also like we weren't with our kids. Yeah. And this was an um, emergency alert, mm-hmm. and I was scared. And also, we're on a reality show, so we are dramatic people. Thank you. No, I was totally, I'm Sex. sticking up for you guys being dramatic. It actually wasn't that dramatic. I was about to literally die. Like, I thought I was dying. And like, it was not. And I feel like I'm a pretty reasonable person. Like, you I'm are. like, okay. So I, I really was like, I'm sticking up for you guys. Like, it was not dramatic. It was the situation, and it was scary as hell. So it is what it is. Yeah, I blame the producers for really selling but it. But I feel like. Yeah. I feel like. They did. Mm-hmm. And. I felt even like I feel bad for Sam her second day in, and this is what yeah. she's dealing with. I literally said, "Sam, are you still staying? <laughs> like, please don't wait, go." What? She's I like, "Shit's so changed so here." I couldn't wait to get out of Pennsylvania. I was like, "I'm not coming back here." Like, but I feel I like our last day was fun. Like we drank wine. No, it was, was fun. Yeah, we, but I really couldn't wait to get out of there. I was like, and I couldn't sleep. The re- I literally was up at night, like, "Oh my god, what just happened?" No, yeah, crazy pants. Yeah, it was fun though. I, like honestly, like stuff like that, I can laugh at. Now. Yeah. So being back, like, so far, what has been, like, your favorite part about being back on the show? Being with the meatballs? I I think just being with you, like, <laughs> all of you guys, it's been so much fun. It's been, like, I don't know. Like, I think just being, like, reuniting our friendships again. You yeah. know what I mean? Same. Yeah. It's, like, we I missed out on so many years of, like, having fun with you guys. And, like, I don't know. It's sad. That part's sad. You were having a really good day until you broke down on the road. We know how you feel. That's why no matter what mishaps you encounter, 
AAA will be there 24-7. And we'll get you back on the road and back to having a really good day. Join AAA and drive worry-free. Visit AAA.com slash join. You were having a really good day. Until you broke down on the road. We know how you feel. That's why no matter what mishaps you encounter, AAA will be there 24-7. And we'll get you back on the road and back to having a really good day. Join AAA and drive worry-free. Visit AAA.com slash join. And you have a new man, Justin. Everyone's going to meet him. Oh, I love um, him. On, on oh, the show same. this season. He's so sweet. He's amazing. So how did he feel about you coming back? What's really nice is he's so supportive love of, that. like, everything in my life. And he's like, go do whatever you want to do. Like, have fun. Like, he is just chill. He's positive. He's, like, happy. He's, like, a happy go lucky, which I'm not used to. He's, like, a nice gentleman, like, a nice guy. So he was, like, like then I'm going to I wanna go back. Why not? So I was, like, all right, I'm going to do it. And he's been, like, so, like, he's been so chill ever since with the whole thing. Well, he seems, he seems very chill. He seems very, like, supportive. He seems like a rock. He yeah. seems... He's, he's secure with himself. Yes. And I think this, and the relationship. So I think he's like, I'm good. Like, have fun. Yeah. Like, I wish I could be doing what you're doing. Like, you know, he's like, go have fun. He doesn't care. It's nice. Like, it's a different vibe, not something I'm used to, but it's, like, really nice to have that support. Well, yeah, that's what you need. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like he reminds me of, like, Chris and Gianni, where, like, they mm-hmm. support, like, anything we do. Yeah. You yes. know, and I love that yeah. for you. And I feel like especially Thanks. in our industry, our industry, calm down. But like what we, okay. but what we do for work, it's like you need a supportive partner with yeah. you. Because if you That's don't funny. have someone supporting you and they give you shit for leaving, it makes that job that much harder than you don't want to do it. And right. it's like, oh, I'm doing something yeah. wrong. But you're not because this is your job and this is like who you your are. Yeah, like this is your you know. whole this is your whole thing. So if you don't have a supportive partner – it just makes things ten times worse, and you end up hating your job. So the fact that us three, or you can't be yourself yeah, on your job. The fact you know? that us three, even Jenny, like even all yeah, of us who have Jenny partners, Jenny got so lucky too with Zach. Yes, Zach is all amazing. of our partners, all of our partners support us, and they just want to be there for us. They want the best for us. That's why we can do our job. So I, have and a I think that I think that's for anyone that has a, a a a job. Yeah, you know? I think you need support from your partner. I think just in general in a relationship, you just need. A supportive partner. You got to be each other's number one fan. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. So, how did you meet Justin? At Tiki. Oh, funny story. <laughs> well, did we know him before? Yeah. Well, um, that is so funny. I met him. I met him at Tiki one Monday. Like, did me want to go, and I was. I just went with like some random people. They asked me to go. That I play soccer with, like some random soccer girls, and I was like, "All right, I'll go." They hadn't really gone out in a long time, and I went, and then I met him. He was so cute and nice, and then I got to know him. He took me on a date, and um, he was just like a gentleman. And I feel like people don't do that anymore. They don't like take you out on dates or like you know, it's more like, "Hey, what's up? When can we hang?" Mm-hmm. It's not like, "Here, let me take you out to dinner." No, yeah, so it's like, "Hey, like, you up?" <laughs> yeah, he like he really was such a gentleman. He was like, "Hey, I would like to take you out to dinner," and so we went out. We went out for drinks and whatever, and I got to know him, and he actually was, he worked at Karma when we filmed there in 2009. I can't so, even. Wait. It's funny because he knows all of you guys. Like, I think he was like, oh, I, I think Dina, I took her out of the club once because she Makes got sense. a fight with somebody or something. Mm-hmm. He's like, I know, Nicole. Like, he's like, I just remember all of you guys always coming in there, and I'm like, that's so Falling down the stairs, remember. falling off the stage. Oh, yeah. my goodness gracious. Huh? Yeah, I kind of felt like more comfortable with him because I was like, "Oh, then you get like me or like my life a little bit because you've what been around do. it, you know." Oh, I love so, it. Yeah. Well, I'm just so That's happy like for you, Sam. Thanks, wait, guys. Wait, so what did he do for your first date? Okay, do you want to know about our first date? Yeah. This is actually really, this is a funny. I know it, and it's a funny we, story. Did we talk about this? Yeah, I don't. Remember. Did we? Okay. I don't know if you spoke about it on camera, but I know you definitely yeah. told me about it. Let me hear. Okay. So we went, he asked me to dinner, and then I was like, oh, I'm so nervous, I don't know if I could do dinner. So then I'm like, do you want your drinks instead? 
Wait, and that's what me and Gianni like, did. I, got, I have to tell you my story after that. Go. Really? Yeah. Okay, so then I was like, do you want to do drinks instead? Because I was, like, nervous to, like, first date to be eating. From his, I get, like, ner- I get like weird, awkwardly shy. So then he's like, yeah, let's do drinks. He's like, let's go to Asbury. I know this really good, um, like, down, like, it was, like, a speakeasy kind of. Like, it's, like, a restaurant, but then there's a little, like, if you walk down the stairs, there's, like, oh, yeah, this cute. bar. It was, like, cute. So I was like, I'll take you there. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we meet in Asbury. I meet him there. And then we go to the place. And we walk down the stairs. And there's not one person in the in the whole place. <laughs> there's a bar down there, not one person. So then we're like, all right. So now there's nobody in there. So he's like, all right, let's just get one drink. And we can go somewhere else, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So we're sitting there. And I ended up knowing the bartender. And I was like, oh, hi, how are you? And we were talking. And I'm like, well, how come nobody's here tonight? And she's like, oh, they'll be here soon. It's sex toy bingo. <gasps> okay, break the ice. <laughs> so now his face, his face turns bright red. That's so like, Justin's funny. face. Oh my, oh my god. god. I'm like, oh my god. He's a tomato. So she's like, oh, are you guys here for sex toy bingo? And I'm like, actually, we're not. I'm like, oh my god, even I'm dying. He's like mortified that he brought me there. And then we went, but we ended up like having a fun night. And then we went to another bar. It, it was actually like really funny. And to this day, like you have to laugh like the first date. Yeah, you're going to tell your like, grandkids a story. Yeah. And just <laughs> so yeah, everybody I can't wait knows. To sex toy bingo. Like, mm-hmm. I can't. Justin has a very much personality like Chris. A very like much he's personality. Like, <laughs> did I say that weird? Yeah. I don't think that he makes is, sense. Did yeah. it not? A very much. Very. He has a personality that's very much like Chris's. There so like, go. I'm sure when he heard this sex bingo thing, he probably <laughs> wanted sorry. to crawl into yeah. a freaking shell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did. Especially like, the first date. I just took this girl here. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and like, he, he like, thinks, like, you're so classy, putting you on a pedestal. And then he's like, fuck. <laughs> he's like, cool. Yeah. I'm bringing her to this funny. special yeah. place. No, but I can't wait for you guys to meet Justin. I think yeah, that I love him. he's so cute. Him I think he balances you out so well. I think he brings out so much fun in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's no, and you fun. feel cozy. You're just like yourself. Okay. You feel comfortable, exactly. yeah. and you guys, you guys look he's a like you're. Stay you're, out. Yeah, you guys look like you're like true best friends, which is I that's how it should like be. Oh, and he's he a is meatball. a meatball. He is a meatball. So, he actually meatball. did better than you at tryouts. Yes. <laughs> Sam he's, actually he's, stayed no, out when she, when he was there. He's literally a meatball. I'm not. He's like one of you guys. I'm not. He's kidding. totally he's meatball. Like, oh, he's a hundred percent. Like Sam, I was so impressed when we did dirty stay out night and you stayed out with him. You didn't do so well when he left, but <laughs> but I was sick. We, I was actually really sick then. Wait, I can't. And I was like running to the bathroom all day. You don't remember. Oh, did you eat cheese? Oh, I'm so sick. I was like dying, and then they're like... She ate cheese. Yeah. You really? Okay. I'm like, I guess. But I'm dying. I'm so sick, but whatever. So we need a redo, I feel. Okay. We could definitely do a redo for Mm -hmm. you to be a dirty stay out. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Because I like to stay out and have fun. I don't, you know? No, you're a good time. Yeah, I don't We love it. You know, it is what it is. So I'm... My... Last question I would like to know is, out of all Jersey Shore, including Jersey Shore Family Vacation, what would you say is your favorite moment or memory? Oh. I don't know. What's my favorite? Yeah, I got to think of mine. Like, what is yours? I feel like that's you know, like, my... everything. Like, so my I think... Coming- yeah, you go, you go, you go, Mama. I think just coming back and, and um, making friends with everybody. Again. Yeah, that's a big it's moment. Like, yeah, I yeah, agree like for you. That's like my moment. I feel like I love, because, you know, back then you go through stupid shit back in the show, whatever. But mine, and we, tra- we did a lot of cool things. And, like, I had a lot of great moments. But, like, I think coming back and, like, mending friendships was my favorite. Oh, I love, love that. Love it. I love We're that. We're so glad you're back. We love you so much. Yeah, same. I'm oh, so happy you're back. Wait, what's your moment? What's your moment? I think one of my favorite moments was when we did the fundraiser for my dad. That was amazing. We oh, made we, we killed it. Yeah. We freaking killed we it. We raised so much and I was pregnant with CJ at the time. Mm-hmm. So like I feel like that probably goes down as my favorite moment. We made so much oh, money so for much the money. uh 
for Wait, the Wait, so foundation. Sam, we were auctioning off like things to do with us. Like yeah. you could fist pump um, with Polly. You can eat oh, with God. Mike, and then you could do shots with me. So I made sure to tell the bartenders make make all mine water because I ended up doing like twenty shots with people. Yeah, you did. And I was like, I'm not gonna die, so I'm gonna pretend oh, they're God. shots, but they're water. So I made a lot of and money off people off. doing shots with me. You took off somewhere That's after too. Awesome. No, I actually ended up blacking out, and I want I wanted my kids. You know what else <laughs> was one of my favorite moments that never made it to the show, and I really wish it did was with my dad. Do you guys remember you guys slept over my house, yes. and we were trying to figure out how we were going to do all of our um, suitcases to Italy. Oh yeah, and he made yeah. like a makeshift like thing in the garage yeah. for us to like bring all of our suitcases. I'm sure they still have that footage. I you can loved grab it. that. And then he drove us to the airport. Yeah. He did all that. I remember that. Yeah. So those are probably like two of my favorite moments because it's so nice that mm. I could look back being he's gone now yeah. and like see those things for sure. Aww. I think okay. my favorite moment, well, my first one, well, no, it's Ty. Well, there's a lot of favorite moments. One of my favorite moments is bringing Dina. Oh, because I yeah, knew yeah. from day one that she was supposed to be one. there. And I called her and I said, where the hell are you? I was like, all the girls are here. You're not here. What is happening? Um, so you had, like, issues with your grandma yeah. or, like, something going on. So Dina was supposed to be there day one. I was. And I freaked out. So when Angelina left, I kept telling the producers, I was like, so can we bring Dina in now? Do you know like, I was on standby? Is it happening? I was on standby that entire summer. As they would call me. So why do you come in week? when she left? They wanted to bring me in at the right time. So mm. they felt like you, I think they felt like you finally were fitting in with everyone. Why bring me in? And mm. then like us bond. Oh yeah, I wanted to leave like, like the second time. Yeah, so I think <laughs> once you were like finally like fitting in with everyone, they were like, it's not the right time to bring Dean in. Miami, I was on standby. I think, mm. <clears throat> so Miami, I knew, yeah. I was talking to SA like every other week. Were you in Miami? Week. I wasn't mm. in Miami, but I was like, on standby at home. Yeah, because she left the second week, talking, I feel. Talking, um, again. Oh, yeah. Talking mm-hmm. to S.A. like every other day. And she's like, you're coming. We just have to figure out when we're bringing yeah. you. So I think they strategic. why can't I speak? Goodbye. Strategically <laughs> felt like <laughs> Jersey would be the best bet because it's like yeah. you could bring me in and it would just like. No, it was perfect. You know, and I, I felt like it was perfect too because mm-hmm. I was like, I felt cozy. Like not yeah. coming in by myself because yeah. So me that and you was one of my favorite. And oh, then, I love that. And then my second favorite was obviously meeting Gianni, because I feel oh, like Bernard. Yes. Yeah, Bernard, my little Mario brother. <laughs> so I feel like you know, like we hooked up, you know, um, just like randomly because I was single. So I was like randomly hooking up with guys, whatever. But Gianni was so different. Like we hooked up, whatever. Um, and then I kept seeing him at Karma, and he was just like looking at me, wanting to you know talk speak and I was just like trying to trying to play cool like I didn't want him but like I felt this like thing I was like I really want to be by him you I always like, know yeah I, I knew like you know. I knew like I, you just feel that tingle like oh I think I like him but I don't even know him oh, I don't even freaking that's know that's him that's... yeah so I like had that feeling for him and then when we left the show um one of the boys was like why don't you take his number and I was like okay so I took his number and then right then he came over and that was us ever since. I love it. But like, I Aww. love that feeling, that like first feeling mm-hmm. of like, ooh, I like him and like texting. Exciting. Oh, that's the best feeling ever. Oh my God. Yeah. I love love. Same. Same. I love hearing stories like this. No, yeah, so that was, that was us. I knew right away. So did I. Mm-hmm. I kind of knew that you all, when you met your people, because you kind of like, you fit. Yeah, yeah. Like, we all look like each other. Oh yeah, we're the same size. <laughs> yeah, we're puzzles. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny. Well, thank you, Samantha, for coming on the show. Do you have any last words for our meatballs? Oh, I just I'm so thankful you guys asked me to be your first guest. I feel so like honored, and thank you for having me. And shout out to all the meatballs out there and string beans or whatever you call them. <laughs> Yeah, string beans. Sausages. No. Sausage. Oh, the sausage. And the sausage, whatever. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah. And um, I can't wait to come back again on your podcast sometime soon. Well, Thank you guys for We're me. honored to have you, Sam. We love you. Thank you, Sam. Love, love you. you. I'll see you very shortly. All right. Bye. 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 
so I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. I'm so excited that Sam was able to come on today. Same. Thank you guys for listening. Happy Jersey. Make sure to um, tune into the show tonight, 8 p.m., Jersey Shore Family Vacation on MTV. And make sure you guys follow the Meatball merch because we are launching our new styles for Meatball yes. merch. You guys are going to love it. It's so cute. I think we're going to restock on our team Meatball caps. Oh, my because God. Because you those guys are the have been best. asking for our hats. I'm actually wearing mine today. Um, so we're going to restock on some of your favorites and adding new styles. So make sure you follow the Meatball merch. And if you haven't already, follow the Meatball Pod on TikTok and on Instagram. Yes. All right. We'll see you next weekend, Momas. We did it. Love you. We did it, Meatball. Let's Cheers. Get sauced. Let's get sauced. You were having a really good day until you broke down on the road. We know how you feel. That's why no matter what mishaps you encounter, AAA will be there 24-7. And we'll get you back on the road and back to having a really good day. Join AAA and drive worry-free. Visit AAA.com slash join. You were having a really good day until you broke down on the road. We know how you feel. That's why no matter what mishaps you encounter, AAA will be there 24-7. And we'll get you back on the road and back to having a really good day. Join AAA and drive worry-free. Visit AAA.com slash join.